Welcome back to TFX, where we dive into the most compelling stories from the world of reality TV. Today, we've got some sizzling updates and eye-catching drama from the latest seasons of your favorite shows. Get ready as we break down six unique news stories that you won't want to miss. First up, we've got the inside scoop on Bachelor in Paradise Season 10. It's official. The beloved show is returning in 2025, and we've got all the juicy details about the cast and what to expect. Are your favorite contestants making a comeback? Next, prepare for a deep dive into the emotional split between Daniel Maltby and Michael Alio. Just days after a major life event, the couple has called it quits, and Danielle shares shocking details about the breakup. What went wrong? In a more personal turn of events, Jerry Turner from The Golden Bachelor is mourning the loss of his beloved dog, Cody. We'll explore the heartfelt message he shared with fans during this difficult time. Then we have Joan Vassos, the first ever Golden Bachelorette, revealing the darker side of fame as she addresses the unwanted messages and inappropriate DMs flooding her social media. How is she handling this unexpected attention? Don't miss our next segment where Jerry Turner and Teresa Nist surprise fans by reuniting for an episode of Celebrity Family Feud. We'll discuss their dynamic on the show and how their recent split affects their time in the spotlight. And last, but certainly not least, let's celebrate love as Hannah Godwin and Dylan Barber, reality stars from Bachelor in Paradise, have officially tied the knot. We've got exclusive details and highlights from their beautiful wedding. Stick around as we delve deeper into each story and keep you up to date with the latest buzz in reality TV. Let's kick things off with the highly anticipated return of Bachelor in Paradise for Season 10. Fans of the franchise have reason to celebrate as ABC has officially announced that the show will be back in 2025. Known for its thrilling mix of romance, drama, and unexpected twists. Bachelor in Paradise is set to bring fan favorites memorable villains and those looking for a second chance at love back to the beach. While details about the complete cast are still under wraps, we've already gotten some exciting confirmations. Jonathan Johnson will be making his return, sparking curiosity and speculation about how previous relationships might unfold on the show. In an interview with Deadline, Jonathan expressed his surprise and excitement about the invitation, stating, Let's do it. I had no idea. Nobody gave me a heads up or anything. So, I was sitting there shook in the moment, and all I said is, I guess I'll see you on the beach. But he isn't flying solo. Hakeem Moulton is another confirmed participant, and he's already got eyes for a specific someone, Olivia Lewis. He shared his feelings in a recent chat, declaring, Last year, she was gorgeous, and I, I think she didn't get the proper love that she deserved. I think I have all that love to give to her. As for the filming schedule, the show has historically shot in June. But fans should keep their eyes peeled for any updates regarding production timelines, especially since Season 10 follows a hiatus for all of 2024. While the exact premiere date remains a mystery, the excitement around these confirmations is palpable leaving fans eager to see how this season unfolds. We'll be following the journey closely, so stay tuned for more updates on Bachelor in Paradise Season 10. Next, we have a shocking development in the world of Bachelor in Paradise as Danielle Maltby opens up about her split from Michael Alayo. The breakup reportedly came shortly after a significant life moment, Danielle's egg retrieval process. She revealed on her podcast, the Womed. That Michael dumped her just a day after a seemingly love-filled weekend. Danielle shared her experience expressing the day after Michael and I got home from freezing my eggs. He broke up with me and I was very, very blindsided by it. This revelation has left fans concerned and heartbroken, especially considering how serious the couple seemed during their time on the show. Throughout the podcast episode, Danielle described the emotions swirling around the breakup, saying, Obviously, oh, I still very emotional and hurt and confused. I still don't really have any answers. I'm in it. She moved from Nashville to Cleveland to be closer to Michael and his young son, James, showing just how invested she was in their future together. Michael Alio later spoke publicly about their split, 
acknowledging the feelings of loss they both experienced. He noted, When you realize that love is there but you're not necessarily compatible, you mourn the loss not of just that person and that friend in your life, but also the future that you had envisioned. This insight into their relationship dynamics has fans pondering the complexities of love and compatibility, especially in the high-stakes environment that reality dating shows create. Danielle also emphasized her grief over the dreams she had for their relationship, making it clear that healing from this breakup will take time. Stay tuned as we continue to follow this emotional story and see how both Danielle and Michael navigate their futures. Post split. In a more somber turn of events, Gary Turner from The Golden Bachelor is facing a heartbreaking loss. The beloved reality star took to Instagram to share the tragic news that his dog Cody has passed away at the age of 11. In his emotional post, Jerry reflected on the bond they shared, saying, As puppies, they are full of energy, vigor, and sass. And you choose them to share your life. And then they choose you, instantly, the most loyal and loving companionship is created. A generation of joy is compressed into a few short years. Why must they leave so soon? Gary's heartfelt message resonated with fans, many of whom flooded the comments with messages of support and condolences. He wrote, Here's to the dog that ushered me through the toughest times a man could endure. R.I.P. Cody White. April 27, 2013. August 15, 2024. 20. This loss comes at a time when Jerry has been navigating the complexities of his personal life, especially following his recent public split from Teresa Nist, his fiance from The Golden Bachelor. Fans have expressed their sympathies with many calling the loss of a pet akin to losing a family member. Fellow cast members and followers shared sentiments such as, Sorry for your loss. It's like a family member. And I'm so sorry. Rest in peace, sweet Cody. This tragedy has added a layer of vulnerability to Jerry's public image, showing that even reality TV stars experience deeply personal moments of grief. Despite the challenges he is facing, Gary has been keeping himself active and engaged exploring new places across the U.S. as he tries to embrace life after the show. As he continues to heal, the support from his fans and friends will undoubtedly play a crucial role in his journey. We'll keep you updated on Jerry's story as he navigates this difficult chapter in his life. Moving on to our next story, we have the first ever Golden Bachelorette, Joan Vassos, who is opening up about the unexpected challenges that fame has brought her way. After her appearance on The Golden Bachelor, Joan's life changed dramatically, and with it her social media inbox became inundated with messages, some flattering, but many crossing the line. In her recent interview, Joan candidly shared, I had a hard time navigating that process. On a dating app, they're kind of vetted, and you can see a profile. With DMSI, they're just total strangers messaging you. She revealed that, while she received a flurry of compliments, she also encountered some unsettling interactions. I didn't really respond to those much. Or I would have little conversations and say, thank you, you're so flattering, or whatever. But none of them seemed to be anything that would really work out. And then some of the DMs were weird. Joan disclosed the more alarming messages she's received, including unsolicited explicit photos and offers from individuals with unusual fetishes. She explained, and I got people with foot fetishes. They wanted me to send them pictures of my feet and would pay me for it. One person offered to buy all the shoes that I wore on The Golden Bachelor. It was scary. Recognizing the potential dangers of this newfound attention, her children stepped in to help, actively blocking unwanted messages to protect their mother, saying, Give me your phone, Mom. We're blocking all this. Despite the negativity, Joan remains hopeful as she embarks on her journey to find love. She confidently stated, I'm very picky about a man being a gentleman. Somebody with a big heart, somebody who is generous and also somebody who's humble. As she moves forward, Joan is determined to focus on the positive aspects of her experience and maintain her values in the pursuit of a meaningful relationship. Stay tuned as we continue to follow Joan's journey as the
golden bachelorette, and see how she navigates the highs and lows of fame and love. Next up, we have an intriguing update involving Gary Turner and Teresa Nist from The Golden Bachelor. Fans thought they might have seen the last of this couple, but they are making headlines again by reuniting for a special appearance on Celebrity Family Feud. This surprise comeback has stirred curiosity about their relationship following their split. The episode was filmed before Jerry and Teresa announced their divorce, which adds a layer of complexity to their appearance. During the show, they team up with family members to take on a group from Bachelor Nation, including some familiar faces like the most recent Bachelor and Bachelorette stars. This unique crossover event has fans wondering how the dynamics between Gary and Teresa will play out on screen. In a statement shared before the episode's airing, Jerry talked about their decision to appear together despite their personal challenges. He mentioned, During our time together on the show, we built a bond that we will always cherish. While we're no longer partners in life, that doesn't mean we can't have fun together as friends. The former couple's commitment to remaining on good terms after their split is admirable. And many viewers are eager to see how this translates in their on-screen interactions. As the episode aired, fans were treated to the light-hearted banter and moments of nostalgia between Gary and Teresa. The show provided a glimpse of their shared history, including their time on The Golden Bachelor, and the journey that led to their eventual decision to part ways. This dynamic raises important questions about love, compatibility, and friendship after a breakup. Mark your calendars for the airing of this special segment on Celebrity Family Feud, as it promises to be both entertaining and thought-provoking. We'll keep you updated on how Jerry and Teresa navigate their post-reality show lives, and what lies ahead for both of them individually. And last but certainly not least, we have a heartwarming story about love as Hannah Godwin and Dylan Barber, reality stars from Bachelor in Paradise, have officially tied the knot. The couple, who captured hearts during their time on the show, exchanged vows in a stunning ceremony on August 23rd. And fans couldn't be more thrilled for them. Selling Sunset's Jason Oppenheim was among the first to share the beautiful news posting a video on his Instagram story featuring the newlyweds surrounded by their friends and family. He captioned it, Congrats to Dylan and Hannah on the most beautiful Parisian wedding ever! Fans of the couple are buzzing with excitement, eager to see how their love story blossomed from a reality show to a beautiful wedding day. Hannah and Dylan originally met during season six of Bachelor in Paradise, and despite some ups and downs, their connection proved to be remarkably strong. In fact, they even got engaged during the show's season finale, and their journey has included a long-distance relationship that was intensified by the COVID-19 pandemic. Hannah shared, Luckily we're both easygoing, so being trapped in sweats all day with my BFF isn't a bad day. The couple's resilience and commitment to each other have truly shown through. Just a week before their wedding, Hannah revealed that they had gotten engaged for a second time, describing it as a special moment just for the two of them. She wrote on Instagram, although our first engagement was and still is so special to us. Over the past four years, we've talked about having a special little moment just for us in the real world. And at Dylan Barber surprised me and made it happen last week. With their love story still captivating fans, we can't wait to see what the future holds for this adorable couple. Congratulations to Hannah and Dylan on their beautiful wedding and the start of this exciting new chapter together. Stay tuned for more updates on their journey as a married couple and all the latest happenings in the world of reality TV.